Yes, I'm Juko Hoods and uh, I'm an artist. I do uh, paint and I also make sculptures. And I'm um, one of the owners of uh, this gallery, Asante Art Gallery, which we opened up uh, like three years ago. And me and my brother. So it's, um, you were born here in this, in this area, so, it's, uh, so you're not new in town? You told me? No, I'm not new in Kampala. I was born here. My parents uh, live within the in, within you know the same area code, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm also living here at the same time. My family is also here, mm -hmm. so and I also work in the in in, in the same city here, Kampala. So, so as a, an artist and art gallery, it's, it's your f really your full time job. You yes, I'm a full time artist. Mm -hmm. uh, I do uh, paint and do sculptures. So uh, I think I can't think of any other thing apart from art. Uh, I've been uh, employed before. Yeah. I went to the university to teach art after my uh, uh, studies, but I taught for only three months, and I, it wasn't for me. So I decided to uh, pursue my career as an artist, mm -hmm. and I'm not complaining. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, it took you more than three years to get on this place, and uh, yeah. But uh, could you tell us a little bit about this story? Oh, you know, we didn't start from this particular place. We started from uh, Bukoto, this uh, like uh, 10 minutes from here. That's where we started in 2003. And uh, we opened up a art space where artists used to come and, you know, work. It was my uh, place and uh, we, we joined uh, Rent with my brother and we invited other artists who didn't have uh, places where to work from and we give them some you know studio space to come and work with us and you know have a place where they can display their works and uh, it's from that place where we spent around uh, three years that we shifted and came back here for another three years just to get closer to uh, people who can come and view uh, the work we used to do then we had to shift back because it wasn't enough space for us mm -hmm and then we rebounded back again when we got this place when we got the opportunity of this flat so i must say we've been in the industry and in the same area doing the same business for around uh, uh 16 years 16 years it's yeah. a long time mm -hmm. now the center of art of kampala is here yes yeah. it is <laughs> <laughs> it is mm. okay. um there is um yeah, how do you make your setup? Is it always you, you invite friends if you make an, an exhibition, or how does it work? It, uh oh, okay. Now that we've been, uh, you know, the fact that we've been in the in the area and doing the same business in art, and uh, I shouldn't call it business. It's uh, you know doing art, and the way we do it, we have uh, managed to have a following. Uh, the local people who uh, follow our work and want to find out what we're doing and then we also have other people who just come in and then go and but I think you know sometimes they come back and so we have a, a list of following that we usually uh, contact when we have some shows to to come and have a look at the work we do uh, it, through is it like a mailing list or yes we, we do have a mailing list okay, so it, is it also facebook or we, we we have a mailing list and then uh, there are also those who are locals and they've joined our 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 facebook page and they are you know we always contact them uh mm -hmm. through asante art gallery and also caribou art gallery which is also another gallery that we have which is also not far from here so we join the two and uh we invite them to come here mm -hmm. and also we are dealing with uh, uh, different uh, uh, organizations like embassies uh, for example we do some projects with the US embassy and then we also do with the German embassy here whereby annually we organize some events and we like for example uh, the past five years we've been having shows at the German uh, residence the ambassadors mm -hmm. place in, uh, here in Kampala go there make shows at the end of the year during the Christmas seasons and then at the US Embassy we've been making uh, three shows there we are making uh, February and we are making June and we also making September every year so you know given the fact that we go to you know different you know organizations like that then we also manage to fetch some followers to come and you know 
at the end of the day come and have a look at the work we do here when we're not in their places. And, and you also use this or you get in contact to international clients or, e you know, yes. or collectors? Or yeah, precisely. Are there some somewhere on the, around the globe? Around the globe, uh, you know, around the globe it's been uh, through uh, pickups like individuals who usually come and have a look at our works here and they end up inviting us to go to different places. Mm -hmm. I've been, uh, I've got an opportunity to be in two different, you know, countries. Uh, I've been to Denmark, I've been to Sweden, oh, yeah. I've been to the US, I've been uh, to France. But all those people where we have gone to showcase our works have found us here. They come, find the work you're doing and they invite you to go and uh, maybe have an exhibition in their mm -hmm. local mm -hmm. towns and local galleries. So that's how we manage to network with them through, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. We are personal relationship and you know through clientele basis. And yeah, so we are new in town. Where we should go else? Where? Um, yeah, I think. Yeah. Or, uh, yeah, I think if you're in Kampala here, of, of course, one of the places you've gone to to eat, Asante Art Gallery. Okay. <laughs> that is uh, one of them, and then uh, another place you should think about going besides. Uh, uh, paintings and, and sculptures you should also make sure you visit uh, Ndere, Ndere Center, Ndere Culture Center. Okay. It's in uh, Ntinda where they perform all these kind of uh, traditional dances and traditional drama which will give you a very good uh, insight on the culture of Uganda. Okay. Yeah. Is it also in the evening or is it during the it's, day? It's uh, usually on, uh, on Friday they have a show. They also have a show on Saturday and Sunday okay. which starts around uh, 3 and it ends uh, around nine. Mm -hmm. So the edge is really good, you should. Yeah, okay, uh, we missed this on this weekend. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> to stay a little bit longer. Yeah. And tonight, what, what, what we should do tonight? Eh? Oh, tonight, in this area, we Monday, within this area. <laughs> <laughs> Mondays are a little bit slow, uh, especially in Kampala, they're a little bit slow. But usually on uh, Tuesdays, there is a lot of ja jazz music, African jazz music in different areas. We have some there at uh, City View, whereby it's like five minutes from here. They have very nice uh, performance jazz, which is really nice. And then uh, the artist nights, which we would, would, would be interesting, uh, usually at the end of the month. We always have artist nights here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So thank you a lot. Welcome.